in this in the time of the time period we're now about music, let's say quote unquote urban music, mm. like do you ever feel that like you have a window of opportunity that if you're gonna make a claim it has to be like within like the next year or so? Nah, I never think that because the times are always changing, mm -hmm. you see. So if you think that then you're putting yourself in a box mm -hmm. and you're thinking, you know what, if that didn't happen there then I haven't done it or you haven't met what you that met that target that mm -hmm. you know you should have or that you wanted to. You just I just keep on going because there's been many dropbacks. There's been times that I'm going I was signed to Warner Brothers when I was like thirteen. Do you understand that? That was cool. But I got dropped in it. I was signed to Charlotte Global with the group, my brothers and sisters, the Charles family. Nothing weren't cracking. It's not cracking. And if I ever, for one sec, thought, you know what, that's long now. You get what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. my sisters and my sister works in the hairdresser with to um, professional hairdresser up the road there. My brother's doing his own thing. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's doing their own things. But I had to keep that. Are you mad? Like, you know where I'm coming from? Like, mm -hmm. from the early days, the early 90s coming up, dying for this opportunity. And I'm just going to stop them after all that and especially after all the hard work and my that my dad put into this and there's no ways but I see at least one of them bring something back to understand to show you know what it was all worth it and God is great. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Definitely. So you saying when you was young, so being thirteen so you was always groomed. Yeah I was this. always around it. I was always doing that. There was nothing else I was doing. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. Like you the normal guy would be on the field, you know can we go to football and can we go to the football match or boom boom boom. I was hearing that, but I'm not on that. I'm on a different thing. And if I didn't, if I wasn't on that, I wouldn't have been doing what I'm doing now. Definitely not. And in between that time, I've still had some rocky roads where mm -hmm. it was possible to fall off the tracks. Mm -hmm. But I channeled that. It, it didn't have me. Couldn't, couldn't win. And we were talking before, like, you used to spit. Yeah. So, so top, do you know, yeah, why did you stop spitting? Why? Tell the truth. <laughs> When I used to spit, it was more like crime and that. You know what I'm saying? That fast stuff I'm going and just wasn't me. Like I don't do that in it. Like I had a whole crew, my night creepers. We were doing our thing. Radio was actually ice cold. We, I'm going back from even ice cold. Like we were doing showcases for Sony and stuff. Like that's the creative stuff I was doing. I was bringing my friends and just walking into places and saying, "Look, we've got this idea. And boom, let's do this." That's how creative I was. I was like that push. To push all of us, we was like all my friends have sat in front of many chairmans and stuff, mm -hmm. just trying to work this thing out. And I'm thinking <laughs> that's us doing that from just like just going with the flow and it being spontaneous and doing what you do. And I just thought, you know, I'm I'm not gonna do this. This ain't for me because I didn't like doing that. I thought it was just in the in thing and mm -hmm. then put two bars together and whatnot. But where I do, where it does come in handy is because when I'm singing, the spitting mm -hmm. kind of then compliments it because I'm not just singing normal. The syncopations of of, of MCing and spitting influences my, my writing mm -hmm. because when I sing you can hear that. Do you understand? But you're not not quick that's like people like Drake. Yeah. When they they you can always hear the raps in the you singing. Can, in the singing. Yeah, it's not the typical like that's why yeah. it's it's like a it's it's an extra. It's like a compliment. You mm -hmm. understand when you can if you did have that there before, that spitting whole vibe and whatnot and you put that through singing, mm -hmm. that's just a whole next thing. And I think that I'm going to be doing that a lot more. Yeah. Understand? Because that's me. Yeah. So then now, so obviously, we obviously got the mixtape coming out. When when is it actually due to drop? I'm not sure, but I think I might push. They might push it back just a touch, just because of we want it to be really warm. We don't want it to just be all right. Here's that and boom, and you ain't we ain't really done no. You understand? Mm -hmm. Proper preparation it is it's cracking on i'm telling you it's cracking off and it's happening really fast but i'm saying we want it to be a bit more warm so when it does come it's like all right seven minutes that's what we wait for you got it are you, are you giving it like the same approach as if it was an album yeah we are mm -hmm. we're just flinging it out there and we're not thinking anything's any hits mm -hmm. we're not thinking anything's bad or this is gonna knock this person off that spot we're not doing that and that mm -hmm. we're just throwing it at the wall and seeing how how it sticks mm -hmm. do you understand that's it we're just doing what we love. Now, say there's young kids, right? Say they're caught up in the street, man. Yeah. yeah. And they still want to be involved in music. Like, what words of encouragement do you give them to like stay focused on the music and maybe stay away from the roads? You know what? Definitely, because I would have to say the way you can stay focused. Obviously, you're around it, innit? You're gonna be around it. We're around it. That's how we've grown up, innit? But I tell you what, there's always, there's always 
more plums that are spoiled than the others and you understand and they're the ones that can kind of drift you make you drift so what you have to do now is crack on with what you're doing and then that will you no they will feed off you do you understand so once you're showing them you know what i'm telling you like where i'm from and who are my bona fides and whatnot? It's real out here. It's very real, 100% real. But I tell you what, the way I see things change, like I'm doing this and they're on the floor. You know what? Are you mad? Like they've changed. I'm not saying like, like they're not that same person anymore. Things won't go off when it needs to, but it's just like, you know what? Are you mad? Look at what my man's doing. Showing them a new lane, isn't it? Yeah, showing them, you know what? It doesn't have to be. Like, if it gets like that, then we understand that language. But you see right now, this is really happening and this is what we need to do to get out of all these negative things and these negative places and wanting to do something else to be someone else or that you that you ain't you know what i'm saying betray it through the music you understand you could still you see like a bully on the road you can go around bullying everyone and they'll hate you but i tell you what you could put your your the way you are into your music and people love you do you understand how sick it is? So you go and do it physically, it doesn't still, work. It's still the same character, but you understand? The music, it but when it's you do it through your music, mm -hmm. they understand, not just they understand, they, they, it feels like they know you, mm -hmm. and they, they, they actually start bonding with that. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? But you can't just, it's not the same. It's not the 80s or the 90s, it's <laughs> 2011. You know what I'm okay. saying? And that's what I'm saying, so I'm saying stay focused. You can do this. You don't have to be an idiot or like uh, a coward to, to to like let things slide and walk away from situations you understand you live to fight another day and that's where i'm coming from and i love what i do i couldn't, I couldn't be in a better place right now you understand and i still go through my neighborhood and i'm still the same person it's just that i've, I've put my character into what I love best. It can only get bigger. Angel lights, it's crazy right now. And that's what they call it, like, angel yeah, lights. Yeah, angel lights. I like that. The love is crazy right now. You know what, you fans give me the motivation to do what I'm doing. When I sit down and I think of you, like, I'm saying, you know what, I have to kill this. And it's all you, 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 you. So thanks, and I'm gonna crack on and not let you down and do what I do best.